take you down. <laughs> What is up guys? I hope you are having a great day. So we just got back from an epic trip to Colorado. It was actually to celebrate the relaunch of the fuckable physique. All right, it's actually also called the Adonix Method. They're, they're the same thing. We had to have a family friendly name for like Facebook and stuff like that, but that is a different story. But yeah guys, there was over 13,000 people on the waiting list. You guys wanted me to let you know when it was coming back out. And it's out man so you guys need to go check it out if you have not gotten it already I actually took all your feedback into consideration made some new sections all right made the whole thing even better go check it out link is in the description below I hope you guys enjoyed the Colorado vlog I'm I'm looking kind of fat in it all right I was, I was trying to bulk you guys don't seem to like that so also to celebrate the relaunch of the fuckable physique I'm going on a cut man I swear I will be shredded in no time get excited for that enjoy what is up guys? So we are about to get in a workout at this beautiful gym. It looks, looks pretty nice, right? Like, let me give you a tour, man. We got some cardio machines over here. We got a nice little air conditioning thing. Yo, check out the lounge area. The lounge area is my favorite part. <laughs> Yo, check out the lounge area. Absolutely beautiful. I actually forgot to pack a workout shirt, so I'm actually gonna have to be shirtless the whole workout. I know that might be kind of weird, like you guys seeing me shirtless in a video, but if you can tell, I'm super sunburned. Like, I was walking around all day in a, in a pretty cool outfit, and but it got me really sunburned. So we are gonna hit back and legs today. The thing is, guys, is like most people would like use this as an excuse to not work out. But I do not make excuses at all. In fact, I even brought some resistance bands. So like no matter what, even if they didn't have a gym, I was gonna get in some kind of workout, right? So we're gonna make the best out of it, try and hit some back and some legs. So let's get it. What is up guys? So we are here in Denver, Colorado. You guys know that I'm a huge nerd, so we decided that we're gonna go to a Renaissance Festival. You no, know, guys, sometimes I just get the need to put on a really douchebag costume and walk around shirtless. That's just, do you guys ever get that? Like it's been just long enough since Halloween where I have that urge again. So we're gonna go pick out a wonderful costume and then head off to the Renaissance Festival and have some fun, man. So let's go get the costume. Well, never mind, guys. Party City was not looking aesthetic enough. So we're at some weird, Halloween-like store. We're gonna check it out. I'm looking for something to wear to a Renaissance festival, like a medieval sword fighting thing, a Spartan or a warrior or some cool thing. Spartan is far from medieval. Oh, really? Oh, well, like I guess- 2,000 years prior. Dang, I stand corrected. <laughs> something, some kind of cool- Yeah. Where we can show our abs. Yeah, we're gonna be That's shirtless. 500 years old. <laughs> oh, man. That's close enough, 500 years is not bad. Oh, there we go. That's the one I... Yeah, dude. Bro, that's cool, man. Just the breeches. Oh, just the breeches. And then and we could put that over it. Yeah. You're wanting something like in the that god-awful movie, The 300, right? Yeah. Much, yeah. Basically, Which yeah. is totally a work of fiction. The, the <laughs> battle that it, takes, <laughs> that it supposedly takes place in was history. Really? Uh, there were no battle rhinos. Uh, uh, the Spartans, in fact, were clean shaven. Matter of fact, they shaved their entire bodies. Wait, really? their entire bodies? Yes, their entire bodies, and then they'd oil themselves up before battle. Wait, they why did they oil themselves up? Because they were very proud of their bodies. Oh. They were trying to look aesthetic, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm less worried about looking like technically correct and more yeah, just I, I, I just want to I want to look good you know see that over there guys that is called a plateau we hate those things like I can't even stand just like driving next to them but you know what yo if you get the buffalo physique guess what you will never have to experience one of those things again time to get aesthetic Yeah, so people can see the credit card and copy the number. <laughs> well, guys, she said that I was too aesthetic to get in, so I had to like sweet talk my way in, but we made it, guys. Hey, good spot to Oh, what's up? <laughs> Welcome. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Do need shirts. Yeah. Oh really? Wait, you do need shirts? I need shirts to go in. Wait, what's the reasoning behind it? Am I too ugly for the for the? Oh honey, no. Here, how about Phil takes off his shirt, you put it on, you go in, and you throw it. Thank you. Oh. I don't think that'll actually work. Actually, Your clip would actually work as like. Uh, on up, bro. Hey, what's up, bro? We're not letting this in because we don't have shirts on. You can borrow mine. I'll go in without a shirt. You can't. Go, what are you doing here? Oh. So basically, we want to do something fun for the vlog, you know. So we decided to come here. It's an excuse to wear a cool Spartan outfit. You know? Alejandro said that I have to talk in a British accent. That's so fucking bad. So fucking bad, man. Bad, man. Now we're fucking Jamaican. Bad, man. I'm just not gonna do a British accent. I need to make my husband jealous because he missed out. Oh, of All course. Right. I can do that. Business? Yeah. What do you do? I mostly just take off my shirt and do shirtless things. All right, guys. So one of the most popular YouTube questions I get in the comment section is, yo, Connor, like, did you smash? Well, I can't really give you the answer to that, but I can tell you today we're going to do a lot of smashing. Alejandro does not believe that I can smash it hard enough and ring the bell. I think that it's like simple, like I could have done it when I was six years old. So we made a bet. If I can smash it hard enough and ring the bell, Alejandro has to eat a thousand extra calories today. And most people like that, but Alejandro's too focused on his abs. He's like some weird pretty boy or something like, I, I don't know. He's focused too much on the aesthetic. And that's at least like a quarter of an ab. And if I don't do it and Alejandro does do it, I have to eat a thousand calories extra today. That would make me really sad because some of these might, might go away. I'm already losing.